right, sir. Well, as it happens, um, no. The fact of the matter is, I think I've been stood up. I have something in place. Plenty of ice. What can I get you? Um, mineral water. Sparkling. Plenty of ice. Excuse me. Have you been here long? About an hour. Woman. I don't suppose you know it's the tall, slim girl with long black hair and big eyes. No, but by the sound of it, I should have done. Thank you. I don't suppose I could borrow your phone, could I? Sure. Thank you. My name's Vincent. You didn't want to hit the brief first, did you? Not really. Good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I wouldn't mind a glass of water, though. As well as the wine. Plenty of ice. Plenty of ice. Mm -hmm. Plenty of ice. <laughs> <sighs> You're lovely. Yeah, so my mother can be telling me. <laughs> Vincent. Vincent. Hey, have you got everything you wanted? Because we have. You ain't going nowhere, darling. Her name's Laura Morris, Beth. Come here. Come here! Remember him? No. Yes, you do. You met him, you drugged him, then you rolled him. You took his credit cards, his money, his watch, and then you took his wedding ring. He wants it back. His wedding ring? Yeah. What for? Can't mean anything if you want with me. It's worth about 3,000 He wants it back. What if I ain't got it? What if I've passed it on? Then you're neat. We've got it all on film. It's your choice. Hi, Robert. This is the third time this week I've been for coffees. Yeah? Hope you're taking note. You take your time. Sorry, was it a cue? Hold on, they're just slow. A bit like you. Robert, you got the road where this Laura lives, but not the number. Yeah, there was no number. Well, what about next door? No numbers on any of the doors. <laughs> The pop house, no? Woodfield Estate, Vince. Patchy country. Yeah. This morning. Hey, you're, uh, you're raising boss. All right. You're Hello, always raising. No, I ain't. Vincent. Laura. Laura. 
Hello? I've got it. Good. Um, where do you want to meet? How much did you say it was worth? Three thousand. Look, don't start all that. You've got no chance. You can have it back for two. No. Then call the police. I want two thousand pounds. No. What's up? You only trying to sell us the ring back. Oh, the minx. Laura. Make me an offer. Two hundred quid, no more. No. What do you mean no? It's a good deal. Two hundred quid in your life back. Oh, fifteen hundred. If it's worth three, he's getting it half price. Five hundred quid, and any more you take the piss, and I mean it. Okay, five hundred pounds. Right, I'll meet you in town. Whereabouts? No, we can meet at my house tonight, and I want the girl to bring the money. The girl who was at the flat. No, you're dealing with me. The girl or no one, Vincent? This time I mean it. Why the girl? I don't like strange men in my house. Is that a problem? No, she'll be there. She wants me to bring the money. Yeah. Uh, would a client be happy about paying five hundred pounds for his own wedding ring? No choice, is it? Serves him right for cheating. Well, you don't approve of infidelity, Julian? No, I don't. So uh, why would you keep sending me signals? There you go again. Back, you can take a closer look. White gold, diamond baguette, the rubbish inscription. Want to count this out? I trust you. Thank you. No, I don't want to go out. Are you upstairs, Adam? There's a good boy. Let me walk along. So, have you got what you want? Because I have. I've got my hallmark. What does that mean? Well, it's supposed to be gold, so I'd expect to see a hallmark. But well, that's the ring I took off his finger. Uh, either you give me the correct ring or you give me the money back. You've got the correct ring. Look, I'm not going anywhere unless I get one or the other. That's the only ring there is. Leave off now. I'm in no hurry, Laura. So I can wait around here all night long. She that's got somewhere to go. Get out. Laura. I'll use it. Yeah. Get out of the house now. I haven't finished yet. Do as I tell you, Beth. Get out of the house now and walk calmly towards the car. Do it now. Say anything, friend. Say anything you want. Just give me the ring. I haven't got your bloody ring. Laura? In the kitchen. Just had Adam on the phone. Says you're going out. Who's this? It's me, Beth. She's just leaving. She's a bit clean to be a mate of yours, Laura. You are transport. I don't know what you mean. Are you going to take her away to a new life? No. I just popped in for a cup of tea. Beth, you better go. Hello, John. Yes, you better, lad. Adam, upstairs. You go nowhere with that boy, do you hear me? If you want to leave, fine. You leave, it's no loss. Man can take care of him, but that boy stays with me. Got that? I said, do you understand? Are you still here? Call me. Yeah. Sorry. It's 
not your fault. Stop it out of your wages, 50p a week. He's knocking her about. Yeah, I heard. Hello, John. Our man says that the 4x4 belongs to a company called Go West Security. The president of which, and he does call himself the president, is a guy called Gavin West. We got anything on him? Plenty. ABH, GBH, robbery, possession of the firearm. Not what you'd call a successful criminal, is it? Guys, and not a Vince. Nothing happens on that estate unless he wants it to. Steer well clear. Yeah. Oi, where are you going? Uh, I want to tell Laura something. Yeah, tell her something later. Get in the car. Daryl, just get in the car. I've got a job for you. You following him? Why? Because I want to know where the job is. Sure you scare the shit out of them. Enjoy. Come on, love it. Good lad. Excuse me, what do you think you're playing at? I'm just looking at your door. Call the police. What's going on? Just call the police. What's going on? Hey, that before? Uh, yeah, some time ago. I used to train in a place like this. Keep me off the streets. You any good? Well, I wasn't bad. One more and I lost. So, uh, is a boxing gym proper or is it, uh, just a training? Just trying to get them to it something besides each other. <sighs> you disappeared pretty sharpish when the police arrived last night. Yeah, well, I've done my bit. I'm Vincent Gallagher. Frank Cresswell. I'm the parish priest of St. Teresa's. Yeah, I know. So, uh, how long's the trouble been going on, you know, with the kids? Why? It was organised. Well, uh, it was organised last night, you know, it weren't kids. Well, the kids were doing a job for uh, someone. Shadowy figure. <sighs> you think I'm uh, getting you at it, don't you? No, I just don't know who you are or what you want. We've got no money for private investigators, Mr. Well, you're going to need some help from someone, because it's a bit of uncertainty. It's going to get worse. Someone wants something. No one's asked for anything. No offer of uh, security or protection? Not until now. 
It's no other. Do you want me to tell you what I do, or do you want me to leave? That father? All right, lads. You open? That depends. You're going to behave yourself? I always do. See these assholes, you've got to be careful. So if you're going to mess around and take the piss, then you might as well clear I'm off I'm pretty sure I to say piss. I just did. Take no notice, father. We're all very good boys. Shouldn't you be at school? Shouldn't you be at bingo? Six and nine, sixty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> you going to hit that, kid, or are you going to dance with it? That's why you wear the gloves, so you can have a proper workout. You know, so you don't damage your hands when you throw a punch, you know, a proper punch. Watch. Right, you get your balance, all right? On your balance, on your toes, left hand. Best punch in British boxing, look, left hand. Everything comes off it. Right hand. Left, 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 jab. Never let them set. Right hand over the top. You want to have a go? Or do you want to call it Doris and dance with it all night? Why? Well, why not? Eh? It's a skill, and it comes in handy when someone tries to nick your bird. <laughs> so, uh, you a boxer? Used to be a long time ago, yeah. Look, anyone want three minutes on the bed? Come on. We're going. Yeah. What about the boxing? Eh? <laughs> hey? Somebody's dog, Frank, and he just whistled. So, what are we gonna do about it, eh? It was organised for a reason. Organised by who? Well, I don't know yet. That's what you're paying me to find out, aren't it? Why and who? With pictures and with film, then we can go to the media, get it on the television. More bad publicity. Make people sit up and say no. It's <laughs> Frank. It don't work like that. Leo, if we get it into people's living rooms and the police are going to have to do something, who knows, maybe the community will do something as well. Look, there's a lot of good people out there, Councillor. You said that yourself. So let's get it out there. Get them on our side. Yeah, show them you're putting up a bit of a fight. What, good versus evil? Why not? Frank, look, it's a church club. If you want any more money, get it from your lot. My lot don't want to know. Leo, you're my only hope. Come on. I'm sorry, Frank. I can't do it. It's 1,500 quid, Leo. You'll be protecting an investment of 30 grand with 1,500 quid. I can make a donation of 500 quid out of my own pocket. That's it. What does that buy, Vincent? Right. We've cracked it. We're working for God and the church. Hallelujah. Well, I hope they paid you up front, Vince, because the church in a trossy frugal. You mean tight? Oh, look at Jesus. 5,000 for dinner, and what's he bring in? Five loaves and two fishes. Fish. Yeah, it's a miracle they all got fed. Uh, Robert, I want cameras put in the oil. We're watching faces. What about Gavin West? Well, he's the target, Beth. I want him nailed. He's evil, I mean it. He's swallowing around his shit over an estate. You know, stamping on anything that's good. The kids have no chance, the priest has no chance. I want him nailed. The cameras are just the beginning, OK? What's that look like, John? It's not pretty, but it's clear enough. I'm on the sensor, John. Can you see me? Yeah.
right? He's not all right. Should be in the hospital. I'm all right. Was he not here? He says no, but I think yeah. No, I ain't going at all. Yes, you are. Yeah, I'll take him. What? Hey, you ain't all right. You might be from South London and have a thick hair, but you are not all right. Don't make me shout at you. Don't be sorry. Look, um, Robert, maybe you should have a few days out, mate. I don't want a few days off. What am I going to do? Sit home and watch the telly? Just go back home and see your family. I'm fine, boss. I don't want to go home. Robert, come on. I'm taking you to hospital. Thank you. Come on. I need you to go to him and ask for his help. He runs a racket called Go West Security. <laughs> no, no chance. Why not? No. Well, it's not as if you're going to pay him, Leo. I just need you to help me confirm it. You know, you'll be wired. Vincent, I have been a counsellor here for nearly 20 years. And I have been straight as a die. The last thing I need in my final term is to be linked with the likes of Gavin West. He's up to something, Leo, and I need your help to confirm it. You're only supposed to be installing cameras. Yeah, well, things change. Now, listen... Ask West for his help in um, keeping the centre open, and I bet he says no. Oh, what if he says yes? He won't. Because for some reason, he can't. You're the money, Leo. you got to do it. Leo. What's this? It's your money, your 500 quid. It's become personal. He belongs to Gavin West, so um, I want to find him. I want to cut his balls off. Yeah, but look, he can lead us to Gavin West. He's only a kid, John. He kicked the shit out of Robert. Yeah, but only because Gavin West told him to. He's just a kid. Now, if we can talk to him, we can get him on our side. He was outside Laura's house. So she must know him. Gavin do this? Who else? Wait to have a look at a photograph for me. Works for Gavin. Was there the night that I was here? Do you know his name? No. They put a friend of mine in the hospital. Could have killed him. Here we go. I suppose you got that on film as well. Face yeah, two. We have. That's Vincent. That's exactly what I'm doing. Now you've got a bit more to tidy up, ain't you, in this shit hole?
Who is he? Who is he? What do you want to respond to a punch in the mouth? Is that it? Who is he? He's my brother. What's his name? Darrell. Does he work for Gavin West? Is it part-time, full-time? What is it? What is it? All the time. Yeah? Where's he live? Where's he live? Not back again! We just want to talk to him. We might even be able to help him. What's funny? Is this funny? What are you laughing for? He's beyond help. Where can I find him? I don't know. I don't care. People like you, you care about nothing. People like you deserve this shit that comes their way. God help your son. Well, at least we agree on something. The last bit was a bit OTT, don't you think? Yeah, upset her, didn't it? Yes. Good. Now she'll lead us to her brother. We hope. Oi! Don't even think about it! Wanker! Oh, his first word and his mother missed it. So, Reg. Here she comes. Mm, now. Uh, right, here we go. I'm not far away. Okay. Oi, be careful. Tell you, mate, it's top secret. Right, it's a fifth floor. Dark red door, straw mat. No number, but I guess at 54. Please. I don't want to fight. I just want to talk to him. I know it's not him. It's Kevin West. Now just give me five minutes. Thank you. You nearly killed a mate of mine, Daryl. How do you feel about that? I said, how do you feel about that? Um, we managed to, to tell you the fact that Eric is uh, currently residing in Australia. We managed to sort the whole... How old are you? Where do you want to be this time next year? Five years from now, ten years from now. Where do you want to be? Strange ways or dead? Because the way you're going, son, that's the only your option you've got. You know, when are you going to start thinking for yourself and not be Gavin West's toe rag? No comment. Yeah, that, well, that, that's about right, isn't it, eh? No comment. You've got no comment because you've got nothing to say for yourself. <phone rings> Look, you're just a kid. You've got your whole life ahead of you. You've got one decision to make, you know? You either live your life or you throw it away. John. It's your choice. Finished. Yeah. It's all been said before. Death years. Yeah. Gavin West just pulled up. All right, is he on his own? No, with a couple of soldiers. I don't know. He's a 
Devil. West? Yeah. So we'll need some holy water then. Listen, you make your way back to the office. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna follow him for a bit. Why? Because I'm a nuisance. Say for bringing this on me, eh? Sorry. Again. Sorry. Again. Sorry. Again. Sorry. Again. Sorry. You'll say it like you mean it. I'm sorry. You better be. You better make this up to me, right? Right. think about what? Gavin West. You want me to meet him, so I met him. Hold on a minute. Um, didn't I say you had to wear a wire? There wasn't any time. I called him up. He said he'd meet me straight away. That's all right, isn't it? Where are you now? I, uh, I'm in town. We met in town. I left him in the cab. When? A couple of minutes ago. I thought I'd better call you straight away. Right, um, okay. I did the right thing, didn't I? Meeting him. No, you've you done the right thing, Leo. Uh, thanks for marking me card. <sighs> you lying bastard. Lying bastard. <sighs> well, maybe he lied to you because he didn't want to meet Gavin West. He's probably genuinely frightened of meeting him. No, he lied to me because he's a fat, lying bastard. <laughs> no, honestly, it is, yeah? Well, it should be. Look, he's playing Frank and St. Teresa's on his left hand. He's working Gavin West in his right. Why? Money. Property. Property? It's a dump. It's a dump that's ten minutes from the city centre. If he knows we're getting close, he'll want Gavin West to finish it. And we're going to be there waiting outside for him. Hello? I, uh, um, I'm gonna give it a bit longer here and then I think I'll look up. I thought we were in for a lively night. Something's wrong. Thinking the same myself. I'm gonna sleep in here tonight. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. I want to. Well, why? What good's that gonna do? You won't laugh? Well, I don't think so. I wanna fill this place with happy thoughts, Vincent. Positive prayer. Right. Well, look, I'll tell you what, I'll come and stay with you, keep you company. No. If you don't mind, I'm better alone. Thank you. All right, well, look, I'll stick around outside for a bit. Good night and God bless. Yeah, good night. He's going to bed in the hall. All right. 
Sure, then the air, no question. I'm starving. Can we get a takeout? After the celibate. Well, it's so they can concentrate on their faith and not the flesh, Beth. I'd have thought being horny 24 7 would be a major distraction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't do it. Mm. Not with my libido. <laughs> what about you, Vince, eh? Celibacy. Well, I seem to be giving it a good go at the moment, yeah. What, no love action? No. John, oh. love action. <laughs> hey, you should put one of those ads in the papers. Love. Lonely hearts. Now, if you want to meet someone, boss, right. you want to join a, a, a dance club, right? So shut up. Mate, there is no stigma. I said shut up. Are you looking for a girlfriend, Vincent? No, I'm not looking for a new girlfriend. I'm, I don't want a new girlfriend. I'm going for a fag. <laughs> Let me come with you. This is more like Scooby Doo. <laughs> See, Frank? No, yeah. Well, I will. But it ain't good. I'd imagine. So he wins in, does he, Gavin West? Centre closes. I've no idea. But a council will help rebuild it. Probably not. Well, you're going to make sure they do, Leo. What's that? They're copies of the attack on my Robert and uh, the fire. <laughs> I don't want them. You paid for them. No, 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 you give me my money back. No, I, I don't want them. I'm out of here, finished. I've sent copies to the telly now. If a burning priest don't get your publicity, nothing will. I'll be seeing you.
Hello, Vincent. Oh, I've got this boy mud. Daryl, where are you? I'm a mess to offer him. Where are you, son? He thinks I'm going to grass. He said he's going to kill me. Just tell me where you are and I can come and get you. He's going to kill me. Listen to me. Oh, I'm not a grass. No, I know you're not. You're, you're a good boy. Now, I can help you. I'm not a grass. Look, Daryl. 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 You've lost it. What is it? Right, we've got to go and find him before Gavin does. Are there no mates that he could have gone to? If he's in trouble, he comes to me. I haven't seen him since Vincent was at the flat. That's the truth. Did he know the priest was inside? I don't know. It was close to midnight, so maybe not. I don't think he knew. See, this is why I've got to get away. Before Adam turns into Daryl, who's already turning into Gavin, who's nothing but a heartless bastard. Well, if Daryl gets in touch, then let me know. We want to help. You got his mobile number? He's not answering. Well, we want to keep trying. Alana. Why are you rushing off to? Gavin, leave her alone. Don't snap. So, who are you again? My friend Dolores. We met before. Do you remember? Gavin, yeah. stop it, please. Laura, go inside. I won't go inside. Yes, you will. Laura, it's fine. I can deal with this. Look, Adam followed you. I'll go inside. She's a friend. You can't treat her like this. Oh! <gasps> What year again? She's a mate! I'm Beth. Beth. <clears throat> Vincent. That's a name that keeps cropping up. I'll phone your mate, shall I? Okay. Hello, Beth. Vincent. It's Gavin West. I believe you're looking for me. Where is she? She's right here. She's looking very nice. In a jacket and a blouse. She's well fit. I'm tempted to have a little girl. What do you want? I can give the boys a go. Do you want to listen? What do you want, Kevin? Mmm, she smells nice and all. What do you want? Now, what do you want, Vincent? Hmm? I asked you the question. I want you to let her go. I know where she lives. Do you know what I mean? Kevin? Oops. Sorry. Think so? You all right? No, I'm fine. Ben, you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? You keep asking me if I'm all right, then I'm going to get up Yeah, definitely at one. Uh, cup of tea, Beth? No, I'll make it. You sure? Yeah, thanks. Well, I uh, bought some biscuits. They're in the cupboard. Here.
Does he really know where you live? Mm, yeah. How? Because he found a letter in my car, and I know it shouldn't have been there, but it's done now. No, don't. Well, you can't stay at your place anymore. Um, you can stay at mine if you, if you like, you know, until it's done. Picking out, do you? No, I do the same thing. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. How are you? Better. Well, good. You can stay as long as you need to, you know. Thank you. Oh. Hello. Stallo. Darrow! Darrow, where are you? Darrow! Where are you, kid? This side. How are you? Is he dead? The priest guy? No. Well, is it going to be all right? No. Before we get out, no easy. Someone's coming. Daryl. Daryl. I've got to breathe. I've got to breathe, Daryl. Run! 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 Run, Run! Run Daryl! Run! Keep going! You joining us? Yeah. Right, his name's Nick Earnshaw. He's a development consultant working with a company called City Visions. Oh, I've heard of them. They're, um, the builders or something. Project management and feasibility. Posh office, very high security, no way past. The middlemen? Yeah. Right. So is he working for, um, Leo or someone else? Well, I don't think he works for Leo. I think it's very much the other way around, Vince. Right, well, who's he, uh, someone else? The client. There's got to be one. Does it matter? Oh, yeah. I mean, because whoever the client is, is the one who wants to shut down the centre. That's all about the land, isn't it? Well, all the good wars are, Robert. Vincent. Something terrible's happened. He's hurt and I don't know where he is. He's crying on the phone at me and I don't Laura. know where he is. Laura. Ah! Something terrible's happened. He's crying down the phone. Laura, don't worry about nothing. I'll give him a ring here. I'm going to go and find him, all right? Vincent, can you hear me? Yeah. Where are you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not cold. Were you inside or outside? What can you see? What can you see, Daryl? I'm in an old, an old pool. It's empty, it's empty though. Yeah. I can, I can see sky. There's, there's a, a glass roof. Yeah. There's blood in my, the pool. There's my blood in the pool. I'm coming to get you, kid. 
Jeeves in the old part lane bar. She's got to be. Gillian, you keep talking on the phone. Can you do that? Yeah. Robert, get an ambulance, all right? The old part lane swimming bar. Do it now. Daryl? 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 My name's Gillian. Uh, we've called an ambulance for you. It'll be with you soon, okay? Can you hear me, Daryl? I'm Gillian. Gillian? Yeah, that's right. Gillian. You're fit. <laughs> don't want to talk to Aminka. Well, you're in luck then, because I'm gorgeous. <laughs> don't want to die. Listen, sweetheart, we know where you are. <laughs> and help's on the way, okay? I don't, don't want to die. ambulance is on the way. <laughs> I'm scared. You're not, you're not on your own. Okay, I'm here. I'm not going to go anywhere until help arrives. Where's Laura? Where's Laura? Okay, Daryl. ages ago, that's why I'm not crying. Just angry I couldn't save him. We're trouble, but it weren't bad. Oh, no. Could be really funny. You. What's this? It's the correct ring. Oh, you keep it. I mean, you keep it. Will you escape, huh? Make sure you don't take this to the ground, bro. Do you hear me? Thank you. Me and Adam won't waste it. Yeah, he's just got his drink now. He's sitting at the bar. I'm really sorry, mate, but um, I can't make it. Something important to come up. No problem, honestly. No, I'm really sorry. No problem. These things happen. 
we'll talk to Molly, yeah? All right. Excuse me. Have you been here long? Don't mind if I don't help you. Only I've given it up. I enjoy your wine and a fave, babe, for you, Shall we talk about St. Teresa's place? You know, new homes for a new generation. Do I have to? Yeah, you do. And then you can tell me about Gavin West and Nick Earnshaw and his city vision. Yeah, I've been busy. Then you can tell me about who the client is. You know, who the money is. You sold your soul, Leo. Yeah. Well, you know all about that. Yeah, I would. Oh, bollocks. Who to? Now, who wants to buy the land? You don't know me. You don't know what I've given to this ward. So you're going to tell me? Yeah. The best part of 20 years and a marriage. Who wants to buy the land? Oh, 20 years of my life. All I've got to show for it is an empty flat of belly and an You're ulcer. really pissing me off now, Leo. Who wants to buy the land? Yes. I'll give you three guesses. You no, know, I really want to give you a clump. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Nobody wants to buy the land because the church don't want to sell. They want to develop. The church is the client. <laughs> Don't believe you. I don't I believe me. It's true. City Vision are in partnership with the Catholic Church. Frank would have known. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. This is politics. Business. They knew the parish was dead. St. Teresa's is open for what? Three hours on a Sunday? And that's it. Nobody comes. Just like nobody votes. Just like nobody gives a shit. Property is the new religion, Vincent. And the church has got loads of it. The new redevelopment will still get a go ahead, no problem. Frank doesn't stand a chance, he never did. But I'll tell you something. You can't touch him. Because he hasn't done nothing wrong. So that leaves you and Gavin West. And you owe Frank big time. I know you're nervous, Leo, but just look a bit like you're um, doing your penance. And don't forget to make him angry. Marvellous. Yeah, wind him up, then ask him about Daryl. Those like West, they love telling you how clever they are, how tough they are. And... How's it feel? Marvellous. Yeah, it's good. Good. Do you want me to fix the camera to him, boss? No. I could do it. He said no. Right, let's have a look here. <clears throat> ah! Don't have me over, Leo. Give me your news. 
Um, but it's, it's not good. Talk. The delay on the contract, it might be a bit longer than we first thought. I don't care, as long as I get compensated. <laughs> well, I can't see that happening. Can't you? I can. Well, the, uh, the planners, they blame you. I want my money. But because of the incident with Frank? I want my money. On the death of that lad? I want my money. Well, I haven't got it. I want my money. Well, they say you failed to come up with your part of the bargain. I want my money. Oh. Did you have anything to do with the death of that boy? Did you kill him? I tell you, I will kill Leo. You, now. I don't care where that money comes from, but I want it. I've earned it. St. Teresa's gone. So what if the police got her? I'm not dealing with the planners. I'm dealing with you. Do you hear me? You're not listening to a word I've been saying. You're not getting your money. Not now, not ever. Shut up! How you doing? Still here? Thanks to you. No. Yeah. Sorry, my mouth's really dry. Um. What have you done to your face? Had a bit of a disagreement. Frank, I've got something to tell you, but before I do, I want you to promise me you'll keep fighting the good fight. There's people out there that need you. That bad, is it? Yeah. We lost. No. We got screwed by your lot. It seems they've elbowed the church in favour of building houses. St. Teresa's is finished. You think they would have told me? Well, it would have been polite. I give up, Vincent, I really do. No, you don't. I can't do it anymore. Yes, you can. 
look at me. I am looking at you, Frank, and I see a good man. A man who don't give up, because he's not made that way. You can knock him down, but he won't stay down. You are a good man, Frank. All right? Yeah, how is he? He's right on his arse at the moment. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah, for proper food, nothing else. Ah. Well, it's your turn to cook, if you don't mind. No. You might, though. You haven't tasted my cooking. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Laura said she wanted to say goodbye. Oh, that's nice. That's one more soul we've saved. Two. Oh, yeah, the kid. Hey. Hey, you looking good. <laughs>